Don't well, hello, friends and clients. This is Dr. Gary Sendroff with Cruise Planners, your leading international airline travel advisor. And today, we are going to review the product Austrian Airlines has in their business class on their 777. I was able to fly them from LAX to Vienna on one of their throne seats. What was it like? What was their food and lounges like on this voyage? Well, stay tuned for the scoop. Thank you. So let's start with their business class lounge at LAX. This lounge is shared by the Star Alliance. So if you're flying on Austrian, Lufthansa, Swiss or United, you can use this really nice lounge at LAX. And as you could see, there's a pretty wide selection of food and beverages where you can help yourself. As you could see, here's the Lufthansa 747, and I have a full review on the Upper Deck Business Class on my channel. So let's start by reviewing the cabin and the seat itself. And as you could see on this 777, every odd row has a solo seat, but they're not all created equal. Row seven, for example, does not have as much space as rows one, three, and five. I'm only talking about the window seats, but they're still an excellent way to travel solo if you have row seven. Rows one, three, and five are considered throne seats since they have an area of space on either side. They're usually available for an extra cost and these are all window seats with direct access to the aisle at the same time. So there are a lot of reviews online stating how narrow the footwells are and here you can see for yourself what you think. I personally believe the footwells were more than spacious for one person and I don't see the need for extra space but at the same time I'm not a person who sleeps on the plane. Let me know in the comments what you think. Does this footwell actually have enough space or do you think it needs more? I'm curious to know what you think. As a hard product, I do believe that the cabin is well designed and the seats offer really great space for solos or even good space if you're traveling with someone else for the two seats that are next to each other. As far as the onboard amenities go, they were pretty basic. The headsets are better than the earplugs that they give you in the back, but they're not fully noise canceling like some other airlines offer. And then there's the pillow and blanket. And I think the pillow and the blanket are both fluffy and really comfortable. So that is definitely a plus. 
I think it'd be nice if they offered two pillows, but I didn't ask. Perhaps they do if you ask for them. And this amenity bag was pretty simple. It just had an eye mask, toothbrush, toothpaste, and a set of earplugs, and some socks. But what else do you need in a flight? It's not that exciting of a souvenir to take home like I like to do, but it works. And I did like that it had a nice USB port and plug-in to charge your electronics. They even had an onboard chef to take your orders. I'm not sure he was actually in the galley preparing food, but it was still a nice gesture. And for the main course, the choice was between three items. It was between a rockfish, ravioli, or veal. And I did choose the rockfish. Can I take two? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. And while the seat control panel was attractive looking, it didn't ever get me in a comfortable enough position that I really wanted to, maybe it was me. And a big flaw is not having your own individual airflow. They also had these adjustable reading lamps, which you often see in older business class cabins. Absolutely, I won't be asleep anyway. I do believe it's a very courteous thing to ask, do you want to wake up when we serve breakfast later on in the flight or do you want to sleep? I usually get lower than published rates on international flights, so feel free to email me when you're looking to book, as I might be able to offer you a better value than most search engines or of course the airline direct. You'll see my email address shortly and at the end of the video, but for now, enjoy the takeoff. I thought the entertainment on board as far as the screens go were okay at best. There were enough things that you could pick to keep yourself busy and watch throughout the flight, but not as much selection as I would have wanted.
As a soft product, the airline really delivers. These flight attendants really seem to take pride in what they do, and they're not only friendly, but very professional. The food presentation is great and very beautifully presented. You always hear about how airlines used to be, and this seemed to be close as what they used to be. At least they tried. And while I didn't like the rockfish that I ordered, I did enjoy almost everything else. And most importantly, the service and exceptional hospitality of these lovely flight attendants. It's also nice that they come out with a salad bar and they actually do a seat side preparation. I think that's a really nice touch, regardless of the quality, which by the way, was actually pretty good. Sure, I'll have a little bit of tuna and... Do you like some salad as well? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Just a little bit. I did like this part of the entertainment screen, which is you can click star and figure out what movies you want to watch and it'll create a little list for you. And you can go back instead of searching and searching all the time, you can have your movies in a list and actually watch them without spending a lot of time searching, which I think is really cool. So they roll out this dessert cart, which is fine. You get your choice of a parfait, which is what I chose. And I thought that was the best one. There was an apple strudel and there were a few other things, including some cheese and fruit. But the best part of it, which really blows my mind, was the amazing Viennese coffee service that you could order from the menu. And boy, was it really delicious. I highly recommend it. I know it might intrude with your sleep, but it's really worth it. There were a couple of choices for the second service and I chose scrambled eggs, which had also a sausage and a few other little things. And it was really nice because they brought over tea and the way they presented in the tray was really nice. Again, I do believe that their service was way better than say Lufthansa's, in my opinion. 
Thank you so much. Um, I will have the croissant. Thank you. Thank you. For lower than published international business class fares, email me at gary.senderoff at cruiseplanners.com. And don't forget to sign up for my VIP email list at www.tourdoctors.com. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Watch my other cool travel videos right here on my channel. Take care, everyone, and keep exploring all over the world.